Okay. As I've told you, I'm going to give free assessment regarding the four micro skills that we are going to study uh, in the succeeding lessons that we are going to learn. This this time, I'll be giving you free assessment in listening skills. I want to evaluate how far you have gone through with your listening skills. Now you have to listen carefully because there will be questions after my reading. Okay, paragraph one. Fire notice. In the event of fire, the alarm will ring. On hearing the fire alarm, all those in the west wing should evacuate the building by staircase G rooms 12199 are in the west wing. All others should use staircase A. The assembly area for occupants of the west wing is the staff car park at the rear of the building. All others assemble in the courtyard. Evacuate the building even if the alarm stops. If you discover a fire, shout fire and operate the nearest fire alarm. Attack the fire with an extinguisher, but do not take any rest. Inform reception by dialing 1214. Okay, I repeat. Fire notice. In the event of fire, the alarm will ring. On hearing the fire alarm, all those in the west wing should evacuate the building by staircase G rooms to 199 are in the west wing. All others should use staircase A. The assembly area for occupants of the west wing is the staff car park at the rear of the building. All others assemble in the courtyard. Evacuate the building even if the alarm stops. If you discover a fire, shout fire and operate the nearest fire alarm. Attack the fire with an extinguisher, but do not take any risk. Inform reception, reception rather, by dialing 1214. Okay. That was the paragraph. Now, listen carefully to the questions. You are in room one, zero, or one. Which staircase should you use to evacuate the building? You are in room 101. Which staircase should you use to evacuate the building? Number two question. You are in room 201. Where should you wait outside after evacuating the building? You are in room 201. Where should you wait outside after evacuating the building? Number three question. What should you do if the alarm stops? What should you do if the alarm stops? Number four question. Who should you contact if you discover a fire? Who should you contact if you discover a fire? So that is the end of the first paragraph.
Paragraph number two. The Health and English Language Center. Information for new students. Class times, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Lesson now. The Language Center is open Monday to Friday. Its class has one afternoon free per week, but lessons on the other four. On the first day, go to the lecture hall to check your timetable. Self-access. The language laboratory room 1110 is open Monday to Friday from 3.15 p.m. to 5 p.m. for all full-time students. You can learn how to use the computers for language games or word processing. There are cassettes or tape recorder for students to borrow to practice their English. Go in and ask the assistant to show you. If you plan to take public examinations, there are dictations and listening comprehensions, tape recorder or cassettes for you to practice with. There are close exercises on the computers. Ask your class teacher for a list of past exam essays. Students can borrow cassettes or tape recorder, recorder rather, to take home, but they must be returned after two days. Attendance. Students on student visas. All students on student visas are, are expected to attend classes regularly. Students who do not attend classes will be reported to OSS. 80% of attendance is required for students to receive their certificate upon completion of their course. It is also required by OSS for an extension to your visa. Books If students are given course books, the books are the responsibility. If the book is lost, the student will be expected to pay for it. If students wish to buy books, there is a bookshop in the college specializing in English books, room 1520. These are the questions. When do classes begin and end on a fall day? When do classes begin and end on a fall day? Number two questions. How many afternoons does a class meet each week? How many afternoons does a class meet each week? Number three questions. Where are the timetables displayed? Where are the timetables displayed? Number four question. Who can use the language laboratory after classes? Who can use the language laboratory after classes? Number five question. Who is available in the self-access center to help the students? Who is available in the self-access center to help the students? Number six question. How much of a course must you attend according to visa restrictions? How much of a course must you attend according to visa restrictions? I hope you listen carefully and be able to answer those questions. That is our pre-assessment in listening for this week. Thank you for listening.